Welcome back, Stingers. Today, we're going to talk about Scorpio, Scorpio relationships because we're on everyone's mind. Everybody wants to know, do Scorpios get along with each other? Everybody's following us around, peeping through our windows to figure out whether we're fighting, getting along. They want to know our relationships. This is so absolutely bizarre because it happens to no other zodiac sign but I'm in the chapter in my third book and I'm talking about Scorpio Scorpio relationships so this is an amazing <laughs> epiphany that I had thinking about all of my relationships with Scorpios in comparison to other people and how we treat each other and there's so many little gems in there that I want to share with you. And you Scorpios, maybe you'll go back or maybe you have recent uh, current relationships with Scorpios and you'll kind of see what I'm saying. And this is definitely going to trigger other signs. This is going to cause jealousy in other signs. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get it in. How dare you Scorpios get along? How dare you date each other? How dare you? <laughs> I want to be the one. I want all your secrets. I want to know everything about you. I want to break you down. I want to have the power. Okay, this is what I imagine other people are saying in their heads. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, As I go back and I think about every Scorpio relationship that I've had, in comparison to friendships with other zodiac signs, there's such a big difference. And I didn't realize that a long time ago, and I didn't I didn't really know what it was, what these things were. And I had to think about it. I had to think about well. Why, would, why did it feel so different? Why was it easier? Why was it just a natural flowing relationship? Why was there trust there, right? Right off the bat. Why was there a sense of like loyalty right off the bat? Why were there things that didn't have to be explained, wondered about, whiny, why is this? And what do I do with it? Like it, it was just a natural flow, right? And I think about that, it was never there with other zodiac signs, not even with sister signs, not even with Cancer, not even with Pisces. I had to double check them motherfuckers. I'd always think about like, mmm, mmm, mmm. But with the Scorpios, I never had to do that. Oh, I never had to do that. Why? Why, 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 why? So first of all, Scorpios do get along. What does get along mean? Because you, you knew I, that was coming. You know I was going to break that down. I like to pulverize everything. What does all this stuff mean? What does this definition of that mean? Do we get along? What do you talk? What does get along mean? Does that mean you're up in my face all day, every day, calling me nonstop, you know, throwing out the best friend word? That's not what it means when we deal with each other. For some reason, other zodiac signs, you guys need that validation from us. You need the words. You need the best friends. You need the I love yous. You need, you need it so badly. And this is something that I found not to be true with Scorpios. We don't need any of that. We just know. Ooh, we just know. Ooh, we just know. Not only do we just know, we don't try and pull it out of each other. Oh my gosh, you didn't say I love you. You didn't like, oh, that's so, ooh, that just cringes. Um, when I think about that, it's so cringy. Why is it so cringy to me? I think it's so cringy to me and other Scorpios when people need that validation from us is that, wait a minute, I'm giving you energy, you're up in my face and I'm allowing you to do that because I can get rid of you like I can get rid of everybody else, right? You're up in my face. I'm giving you a certain amount of access. Why are you asking me stupid fucking questions? Why are you asking me stupid questions, right? And so, 
for me and other Scorpios and how we deal with each other is we deal with each other through senses, through intuition, through emotional energy, right? We know if somebody is in love with us. We know if somebody cares about us. We know if somebody trusts us. And it's not on a physical level like it would be with you guys. You guys need, to, oh my gosh, he gave me the key to his car. He must trust me. No, I just gave you the key to my car. <laughs> just gave you the key to my car. Let's see what you do with it, right? Doesn't mean I trust you. It means I could, I'm testing you for trust. I'm testing you for it, right? But I don't need that from another Scorpio. I don't need them to give me the key, the key to their car, the key to their house. I don't need the words. See, we have an emotional bond with each other, even if we're not quote unquote best friends. We still have that from far away. And I cannot explain that energy. It doesn't matter how many words I use, you guys will never understand it. You'll never understand it. And so people are 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 constantly asking me, you know, with Scorpios, they're too much alike. They can't date each other. Why first of all, why are you so worried about us? That's number one. Why are you on the outer skirts worrying about Scorpio relationships? Don't you guys find that bizarre? Do you not? Hmm? Do you not find that bizarre? I find that absolutely nuts. There is no way that I'm sitting at home wondering if two Geminis get along. <laughs> Doesn't that even sound silly? It's, it's a joke. I wonder if those Sagittarius are getting along just well. But when it comes to Scorpios, everybody's got their, you know, binoculars on. They're in the windows. What the hell? <laughs> what? No. What? Who is? Who is that? <laughs> who is that? <laughs> you lifting up your blinds? People peeking in. And I had to think about why. Why would somebody else be so intrigued with? our relationship what we do with each other right because scorpios do get along and what do i consider get along get along means that you have some sort of unspoken camaraderie respect loyalty and boundaries that you uphold at all times at all times and i find that with other scorpios i find that with other scorpios i always have but i don't find that with other signs they will turn savage on each other. <laughs> they don't care. They'll be on TV telling each other's business, going wilding out and everything else, you know. Um, you see this prevalent with other people. They have no boundaries. They cross boundaries. I know because they try it with me. You know, they just have no respect for each other. There's no, there's no beginning and no end. There's no lines. You know, with them, it's all, it all blends in. With us, it's so defined. And it's so defined on an emotional level that you're not going to see it anyway. I could be next to a Scorpio and I'm not even talking to her and you don't know. You're like, ooh, they don't get along. You don't know shit. You don't know what we got. You don't know what we got. Right? And so I find that most Scorpios do get along. Now somebody asked me in the comments um, some jealous person who apparently maybe got dismissed by a Scorpio. I don't want to say dumped because you're not trash. You're not a bag of garbage. They got dismissed. I can tell it. I could feel it. I could smell it through the computer. They got dismissed by a Scorpio. And they're like, uh, well, Scorp if Scorpios are so great, how come they don't date each other? We do date each other. We do. Oh, do we? <laughs> we do more than date each other. When we get together, it's a whole other situation. It's a whole other situation. You know how Cancer's always like, oh my gosh, I have this, I can't even describe it. Me and my Scorpio, we're so close, we're so, like, Scorpio, Scorpio is like beyond even what they're talking about because our energy is in alignment, in total alignment, right? Like, we get, we get each other. P 
period. And we don't have to say anything about it. We don't have to say a word. We don't have to prove anything. Oh, we're so in line. We don't even have to say that. That's like so unnecessary. <laughs> right? But when Scorpios are in a relationship, it could be an emotional relationship, even distant. You know, there are Scorpios that I didn't want to hang out with every day. But I know when we saw each other, we already, I mean, it didn't, we didn't even have to, we didn't even have to click eyeballs. Just that energy going by, we already knew where that boundary was. And also, it's interesting enough, there was a relationship that I had with Scorpio. We were close when we were little and then we kind of branched off as we got older. But like, we're not enemies, but we just don't hang out, right? We have different cliques, right? However, however, the interesting thing is that I would never talk shit about her and she would never talk shit about me, period. And, and, get this, this was never, this would never happen with another Zodiac sign because I don't even give a fuck about them to even behave in this way. But with another, with, with a, this other Scorpio and other ones as well, when I see some sneaky shit popping off, I'll just be like, oh, watch your crew you know what I'm saying just just a few words watch your crew now I'm not a part of her crew right and I don't want to be but just watch your crew like we just look out for each other in that way just a few words you know what I'm saying like I there's still a connector there right and I would never do that with another Zoe so I don't give a fuck who zoom in who <laughs> in their crew <laughs> I don't care if they got enemies as friends. I don't give a shit. Go on, y'all. Kill each other. But there's something about us that there's still the link. There's still the link. There's still the link there. And the link is never broken. I don't cross. We don't cross the boundaries like that. I don't tell their business. They don't tell my shit. When people want to talk smack, everybody gets silent. I'm just like... I hear one word, right? You can't get me to start talking no shit, right? And I remember um, when I was younger, it's interesting. There was a girl that I hung out with who was super jealous of the Scorpio. Super jealous. And it's so weird because we all knew each other and that Scorpio was a good friend of mine, you know, when we were younger and everything, like I said. And like, I don't know what the jealousy was, but she would just go off on her and like start talking shit. I swear, to, I swear to you guys, um, the silence, she was, why you ain't saying nothing? Mm -mm. Nope, you go right ahead and talk all the jealous shit you want. And she was so vicious that I would not join in. I would not say anything. Nah, that's your jealousy. Go ahead and outpour your jealousy. <laughs> you know, because I know when I'm not around, maybe you're doing the same thing. You see what I'm saying? So, I find this whole conversation interesting because as a Scorpio, I already know what our relationship is and I don't feel the need to sit there and validate it to everybody. Um, I don't have to date every Scorpio man I meet. It's, that's ludicrous. You know, are you dating every sign, you know, your own zodiac sign, every single person? It doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't make any sense to people just when it comes to Scorpios. They're not worried about, you know, an Aquarius relationship. They couldn't give two shits about two Pisces hanging out. But when it comes to Scorpios, because we have such power. Gosh, look how strong that is. This is just proof. It's, it's proof that we have so much power that we can keep minds doing, you know, round off back handsprings <laughs> just all day. People are just thinking about us all day day to think about what we're doing, what we're eating, what we're drinking, who we're screwing, to, to, what two Scorpios are doing together. And there's, there's some jealousy there as well. And I'll tell you where the jealousy really comes from. And they, they'll never admit this. They'll never admit this. A lot of people, you know, they want this close relationship with Scorpios, like have all access, right? Which they're never going to get. And I explain that to my videos. I explain that to death. You know, I could talk to my tongue, it just falls out. And I'll get the same questions. Uh, right? You'll never have all access to us, ever, ever, ever. Right? 
And so I think because they realize that Scorpio Scorpio relationship, they'll never have it like us. They relish in the fact that, you know, if we're not friends with another Scorpio, if we're popping off with another Scorpio, they love that. Oh my gosh, their biggest fantasy is to see two Scorpios fight. I think it sexually turns them on. <laughs> I really do. I think they, they, they bust a nut thinking about us fighting. Like it's, it, it's such like a big deal to them, you know? But I figured this out. I figured like it's such a big deal to them to see us separate because we're so fucking powerful together. Oh my gosh. I remember um, dealing with a few Scorpios. Like us together walking in a room. Oh my gosh. It was like the whole room was on fire. <laughs> like we just set that bitch ablaze and people were just like, ah. Like just, the, just my energy alone, but then his. It would like nobody could touch us they couldn't even come close they would they would just move back people are so afraid of that but in general they're afraid of like power couples there's something about that like because they want it because they want it you know but the interesting part is that they don't understand that they're not gonna have it just because I'm not best friends with a Scorpio doesn't mean that you are right it doesn't that doesn't click for people they're like oh my gosh oh you, you and you and him don't get along I'm like okay well okay so let's say that we didn't get along let's say that I didn't get along with the Scorpio that still doesn't make you closer to them you're still not getting what you want it doesn't matter what my position is and in fact in fact this is really gonna trigger you guys you're jealous who are, who are upset with Scorpio, Scorpio relationships, who fear us. <sighs> even if you're with a Scorpio, even if you're with a Scorpio, right, dating, screwing, whatever you got going on, I guarantee you, they still trust me more than they trust your ass. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. That must be painful to hear. They still trust me more than they trust you. Why? Because they we get each other's emotional nature. We know what our boundaries are, our limits, and we know we still have that little string of loyalty, whereas you guys do not. You guys do not. You guys do not. So even if we're separate, we're still not apart. And you still can't take our place. You'll never be in my position. Ever. Ever, ever. That must be painful. That must be painful. Okay. So, the people who are always trying to nudge their way in between a Scorpio couple, well, let me get in there. You guys don't get along, do you? It's like, well, even if we didn't, you're still not in. I'm still not fucking with you, though. So how does that help you? It doesn't. My relationship with a Scorpio still doesn't help you gain access. You'll never get the access that I have. Because you're not me. You don't have the powers that I have, right? You don't have the powers. You know? Superman, you know, and other superheroes understand each other, don't they? Of course. Of course they do. You know, Superman understand Batman's powers, right? He knows, you know, the powers that Flash has. Mere mortals can't uh, get on that level. It doesn't matter. Even if he was enemies with Flash, right? When shit can't, comes down to it, guess who he, he's going to probably be allies with? The person with the power. Oh my gosh this is it's, this is so funny it's it's so funny but it's I mean it's so strange to me because I never imagined that our inner power was so like visible to other people like the, that to the point where they're always thinking about us worrying about us gossiping about us and even trying to like separate us like even trying to nudge their way and like eh, do you guys get along you know 
you know, it's just like, well, what are you doing? Like, you're, you're still in the position that you're in. You know, we still don't trust you. You're not getting all access. We're not going to treat you the same. We're not, you know. I can go to any Scorpio ex, and if I don't give a shit if they engage right now or married right now, I guarantee you I still have access. <laughs> how much money you got I guarantee you I still have access and you wouldn't you wouldn't you're not us you're not us wow alright guys like subscribe share and all that good stuff I'll see you at ScorpioSunScorpioMoon.com where my whole entire shop is 35% off which is like the biggest sale I've ever had ever and all of you guys i got your orders down pack they are going out in the morning all your fabulous necklaces and your tees and your swimsuits and all that stuff is going to be in the mail tomorrow morning and for the rest of you hurry up get up on it because it's only for 40 hours i believe use the discount code called flash 35 <laughs> when you check out type in flash 35 and you'll get 35 percent off of every single thing in the shop so you can get the jacket you can get you know the rings you can get your favorite necklaces or whatever you want to get get it now um while you're there you can book a basic chart reading a love chart reading couples chart reading personal live stream session where we can we can discuss your issues, break them down, because I, I will break them down. For those of you who've had sessions with me, you already know I am ready for you. I am ready for you, right? And um, you can even get a personalized video. If there's a topic that falls under my brand, Scorpio Sun, uh, Scorpio Moon brand of astrology, Scorpios, uh, self-esteem, evolution, and all that stuff. I'll do a whole video um, on my channel dedicated to your topic. What else is going on? Please take my crash course. A lot of you guys are asking me questions that are in that course. Okay. I have four courses right now. How to be fabulous. How to heal from trauma. Right. How to get a Scorpio back. And that is for people who are not in turbulent relationships where y'all are trying to shoot each other and all that other stuff. This is, <laughs> this is not for you. Okay, uh, it's a dead end street. So um, it's for people who have broken up, you know, in a, in a nice, small way that's, you know, you can uh, mend some things. Um, take my crash course on how to get back and I'll it'll explain very clear things that you do not want to do and what you need to do to stay nice and safe and, you know, get through some things. Um, what else is going on? Dating Scorpios. I have a cra whole crash course on that. You guys have questions. What about this? What about that? Look, in my, in my course, I, I tell you the basics. Scorpio's nature. So that you can think ahead. And this is perfect for this whole video because it's like, you know, you guys wouldn't even have that question of like, do Scorpios get along? And why aren't you guys dating each other? And this, that, and the third. Like, why do why you even care? That's the real question why are you thinking about us so hard like even if we're not dating each other we ain't dating you so why you, you know what I mean like where do you fit in the puzzle like you don't even fit <laughs> you don't you don't have you don't have a piece to fit so it's like you're so worried about us like we doing us like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter um, so yeah, you could take any of my courses. I do recommend you take Healing from Trauma before you take How to Get Fabulous. You're not going to get fabulous unless you break yourself down. It ain't happening, honey. You, a lot of you want to take shortcuts and you think I just woke up like this and we did not. This was this is decades in the making, okay? Decades in the making and still working on it. Nobody said I was over here perfect, but I tell you what, I tell you what, every single day, we work on some things so we are not falling apart um, over here and we are not slipping back down into the rabbit hole, right? Because it's an everyday 
practice. That's what it is. And what else is going on on my website? You can watch one of my exclusive videos. I'm now on Facebook where I will be posting, you know, behind the scene little videos. So join me there. Of course, I'm on Instagram. And I think that's it, guys. I'll see you soon.